Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to use the to-do list plugin to enhance your existing to-do list which is on Google Sheet. For this demo, I'm going to use the uh, to-do list given by the gallery okay is the to-do list. This to-do list doesn't have any uh, script to process whatever you have entered. So to-do list plugin will give you extra capability. For example, if you specify a frequency, repeating frequency, like this one, uh, every uh, two weeks, I'm going to change it. Or you have a new task called Monthly Task, every month end. Monthly task, you can put M and if the uh, month end also M. But this one, we will put uh, the end of the month. For example, this one is uh, November 30th. Also, you can put the uh, yearly task. Okay, so roughly you have a, a to do list. And then the next step is to uh, find the to do list plugin. So you can search from the Google Workspace Marketplace. Uh, you just have to do this. Oh, this one, to do this plugin. Go ahead to install it. So, now it. So, it's done. Now, your to do list has some extra capability. So, let's try it out. But before uh, you have the capability, you need to tell the plugin uh, the configuration and also plug it in. So you just select this uh, plugin function, it's okay. So you need to tell uh, the name of the sheet which contains the to do. And then the header row number, row number three. And the column letter of day is B. And the repeating frequency is on column C. The text column is on A. And finally, the task is on B. So now the plugin knows uh, what is your to do list. And if you start doing some uh, refreshing, so these kinds of refreshing will be done during the night time automatically as well. So you can see uh, the brand worlds are removed to make it uh, more efficient. And then uh, it has a little plug here to indicate that it's plugged in. So now uh, if you pick a task, you can see that uh, the change red and this task uh, will advance two weeks come uh, August 23rd. So if you uh, click it again, then you can see this one will advance further to September 6th. How about if those uh, which are not repeating, if you click it, then uh, this task will go to the very end. So all the outstanding tasks are always at the top. And demonstrate this monthly task. So it will change to uh, December 12. 
how about this one time? A few more times, then you can see it. So you, you will turn to uh, December 31st and also move down. And also, if you take it further, you will go into January 31st. But, and next time, what will happen is it will be uh, February 28th. So you keep track of all your month and house automatically. You don't have to uh, type it. Uh, if you have a new task, then you can just type in here. Of course, you may need to change the date. So once uh, you enter a new task, it will create another one for you to enter. So it's very convenient. So now go back to the extension. So you can see that uh, there are a number of functions. The second one is configure the prompt. So sometimes you may change your to-do list. For example, you insert a column here, and uh, the plugin doesn't know that you have made the changes. You need to go through the configure prompt to tell the plugin uh, exactly the column that uh, you have changed. And for this unplug, sometimes uh, when you are converting a new to-do list, you don't want uh, to have this kind of uh, refreshing every time when you enter something, then you can just unplug it. So let's uh, unplug it first. So when you unplug, this uh, icon is gone. So now when you uh, plug in something, it won't change. Once you finish everything, you can plug it in again. So when you plug in, it will run again and do the refresh. So you can see a, a new brand row is in, introduced. So finally, this is the refresh. Uh, when, after you have done the unplug, uh, enter a lot of things, you, you may want to run the refresh again. So basically, the refresh, if you plug it in, the refresh will run automatically. So basically, that's, that is the uh, functionality of the, the do list plugin. I hope that you enjoyed this video.